some things lie beyond the limits of human understanding. Crop circles, for example, Stonehenge, and the Ivory Coast player Jovino's hairstyle. But if you're an American, none of these things are as inexplicable as the shocking moments when the USA's last minute winner against Slovenia was disallowed. It was the most obvious goal. Probably one of the worst decisions of the World Cup. Then when it was disallowed, like I was, I was angry, man. <laughs> Chasing a crucial three points in their second match against Slovenia, the Americans had gone 2-0 down before half-time. But they'd hauled themselves back in the second half to levels again. And then, in the dying seconds, won a free kick just outside the Slovenian penalty area. In it goes, and it's in the back of the net! It's not going to count, Adu put it in, but it's not going to count, the referee's whistle had gone before Adu put the ball in the net. I just wanted it to be in, you know, because 3-2 after 2-0 down, that is, that would be one of the historical World Cup comebacks, you know? How the referee can cancel that goal out is beyond me. I was looking for reasons to support the referee, as I generally do, um, and I couldn't. The only thing I could see were potential penalties for America. Just a baffling decision. The players had to be held back. It was like, dude, did you, seriously? That was so in, that was such a great goal. That's so on, that's so an on goal. Let's give that an on goal, that's an on goal. The referee, Koman Koulibaly of Mali, had denied the USA a memorable victory, a decision which baffled America. You gotta understand, like in American football, the referee comes out with a microphone and explains to 80,000 people in the stadium, like, it's been a holding on number 62 on the offense, five-yard penalty, still first down, whereas this disallowed goal against Slovenia, and they're like, why? And the referee's like, none of your business. Why?